Hey everybody, Chris here. So, let me explain the inertia chart a little bit. So what you see here is each note, the inertia has been calculated. And you can tell that it is very uneven. Now, what is surprising about that and what you may not know is that is a perfectly smooth strike weight curve that you're seeing there and but yet it translates to the keys to what the pianists feel it feels uneven all those little unevenness that you see results in you know i think the the pianist finger gets used to it the pianist gets used to it and uh adjusts at a micro level but when you don't have to make that micro adjustment and the action is already nicely smooth without the valleys and peaks, uh, then uh, it's a much different uh, beast that's being played on. Uh, that's why I say silky smooth. So the numbers, those numbers translate to about a medium feeling action. And uh, those are used to... Uh, be able to compare from piano to piano and the slider on the left is for note 49 and that kind of gives you a tells you what the feel is going to be so I thought that was a really interesting point there to make was that that is um, a strike weight curve that has been gone through the hammers were uh, see number one was about 11 note 49 was 8.8 .8. And note 88 was four and a half grams. So, and then um, I put it on a three point strike curve and made a nice smooth curve and sanded each hammer uh, to get to the weights so that it is uh, perfectly gradient from uh, bass to treble. So, you would think that the, uh, you know, when you get the down weights smooth and you get the hammer weights smooth, strike weights and you get all the friction smooth, uh, that uh, the inertia would be smooth, but that's not always the case, as you can see. So and that's why I came up with this inertia touch wave system, because it addresses that issue, uh, amongst other issues. All right, just thought that little explanation would be useful. Thanks for watching.